Welcome back. Part two, green light. This is all the automobile style. No trucks in this mix. Level M diecast bringing this to you. Getting caught up on the green lights. This is the first one we're going to take a look at. Black Bandit 2021 Chevy Corvette Z C8 Stingray. Um, we have already seen a Corvette in Black Bandit. This is another one in Black Bandit, although this is the uh, topless one. Uh, the previous one had the removable top piece, so a little bit different, a little bit different, nothing fancy, but just a little bit different. Uh, next one from Black Bandit, same series 26. This is the 64 Chevy Impala Low Rider. Um, this was a new casting this year, uh, I believe. Was in the Low Rider series, California Low Riders, the two of them in there, the uh, Gypsy Rose and the uh, green one. I think the green one was based off of like Easy E's or somebody's uh, Impala, but pretty nice looking. Um, green light Hollywood. Uh, this is um, kind of going to be its own thing. We have two separate uh, green light Hollywoods. This is 73 Cadillac Sedan DeVille from Rocky. Uh, this is a fantastic casting. Green light has done a great job with this casting. Um, you can also get a version of this in the uh, Hitch and Tow Hollywood Edition. Um, this model is also in that one as well. A couple of hobby exclusives. Uh, we're going to do this 2011 Dodge Charger. Uh, no light bars, no push bars, just a tampo. Kind of an uh, undercover sort of uh, with just the tampo on the outside. From Abrosca County Sheriff's Department. Um, and then we're also going to do the 2015 Charger. Um, a little bit of uh, then and now. A little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, not then, then, then. Just a little bit then. So we're going to crack those guys open. Always nice to add more Chargers. Um, and then this is Thelma and Luis uh, Special Edition Greenlight Hollywood. This is the 81 Chevy Caprice Classic. Uh, that one looks ridiculous. I love this casting. Greenlight's done a fantastic job. I'm going to crack that guy open for sure. We're also going to do the uh, 84 Diplomat Taxi. Another fantastic casting from Greenlight. Uh, definitely one of my favorites for sure. They are just absolutely tearing it up with these. Uh, keeping it rolling. This is the 84 Diplomat Police this one looked pretty good, too. We'll get this guy cracked open and look at him. Um, and then the last one we're going to look at, another of these uh, big bodies. This is the Plymouth Grand Fury 82. This guy does have the push bars on the front and the light bar on the top. Going to look super, super great when we keep these cracked open. So let's uh, chop, chop, and get to the good stuff. All right, guys, we're going to kick this off. 1973. Cadillac Sedan DeVille based on Rocky Part 1. I can tell you right now, this one does not look quite as good as the Lowrider version. Obviously, this one's much more stock, factory style. Still has those awesome wheels on it, though. Still looks pretty good. Obviously, it's still a boat. Still a huge car. Um, do like all the chrome and stuff like that. One good thing you'll notice on this particular model, you do see a plate on there. Um, as I've mentioned, you know, Greenlight's gotten away from printing plates on their models. But since this is based on an actual car from an actual movie, um, that's a good reason for them to put a representation on there. I do like the white vinyl roof. Looks pretty good. Still sits relatively low. I mean, this was a this was a grand tour for sure. This was definitely something you just roll around in. Uh, not meant to go fast or nothing. This meant to be super, super luxurious. Looking at the base deets on this guy. Um, <clears throat> he is notched. It is in the upper left corner. Very, very difficult to see. Uh, but it is there. Uh, looks like maybe 47, 65 potentially. It's definitely up there. And of course this guy is notched for a trailer hitch. Because he is used in a trailer pack. So that's pretty nice. Uh, next one we're going to take a look at. This is the 84 Dodge Diplomat State Police. Um, these are all licensed decos, obviously. These are from uh, Bonnie and Clyde. 
Uh, so we'll take a little bit closer look at that guy as soon as we get him up. Um, but, again, love this casting. Great job. Um, you can see on that rear wheel, there's a little bit of the black has kind of come off. Um, so basically the way that these work, uh, these are chrome wheels, they're chrome plastic. Um, and then the black is just painted on, so it's additional. So unfortunately on this one, a little bit of the black has come off, a little bit of the chrome has thrown sh shown through. Uh, two-tone, looks good. Two-tone, always like the two-tone, very good view. Uh, lensed headlights, lensed taillights. Uh, the light bar is especially nice. Uh, really, really like the, the light bar. It's nice, it's big. Um, it's it's lensed, it's multi-piece, it's pretty good, it does have push bar on the front, pretty nice deets on this guy. Uh, taking a look all the way up there, that is New Mexico State Police, so very, very, very nice deco on that, looks very, very good. Uh, windows are very cloudy, a lot of residue from the manufacturing process. Um, you know, and some of these tampos look a little weird, guys, but um, you got to remember, I mean, this is super zoomed up, super up close. Uh, it's something that you're not going to do while you're holding the model in your hand. Uh, these are the base deets. Uh, this guy's very low number, number 435. So very, very good there. Uh, this casting is also marked up to take a trailer hitch, although um, we have yet to see this casting with the trailer hitch on it. So that will definitely be coming, I'm assuming, in the future at some point in time. Uh, we're going to break them up a little bit we do have a lot of diplomat related stuff so we're going to take a look now at the caprice classic 1981 again licensed deco we'll take a look at that guy up close does have the uh same light bar as the diplomat looks very very good uh they amazingly look very size appropriate for both models which is very nice uh, this guy does have tan interior looks very very good uh, later models of the Caprice Classic move to a single headlight design, but this guy has dual headlight design in the front. Another good detail from Greenlight. Of course, the wheels are fantastic. Super, super nice, super good detail to those wheels. Um, you'll notice this guy does not have a plate, uh, just like the Diplomat did not have a plate because, you know, these are licensed police cars. They're not a specific, uh, necessarily, police car. Taking a look at the Deets. Navajo County Sheriff, looking pretty good. A2 right there in the seal. Taking a look at the base deets on this guy. See if we can see where his notch is. It's right under the word green light. Uh, looks like 1538, maybe 1535, somewhere around there. So pretty average number. Uh, you'll see this guy is not notched for a trailer hitch. So if you ever wanted to tow a trailer with your Caprice, probably not going to happen, unfortunately, guys. All right, moving on, a little bit of different flavor for the Diplomat. We're going to take a look at a Taxi uh, 84 Diplomat. It's the same year as the previous one we looked at. This is the Taxi version. Obviously, no light bar. does have the Taxi light on the top. Looks very good. Very uh, standard deco. We'll take a look at that uh, side print up close. Uh, same black wheels as the cop car, obviously. This was a utility-type vehicle. Uh, used for commercial purposes. Unfortunately, this one has the same type of issue with a little bit of the chrome coming off on the black print for the wheels, as you can see, especially in the back. Uh, not a huge deal, but uh, for premium, that's definitely uh, definitely a bummer. Uh, not as bad as some of the green light quality I have come across. Um, this is something a little bit more tolerable. Uh, that does say taxi, of course, on the uh, bar up there above the uh, uh, roof there. So, very nice detail. Looking at the side deets here, there is your taxi charges. $1.50 and then $0.25, cents, $0.25 cents and $0.50. Cents. Looking at our base deets. Flip this around in the correct way. Wow, check that out. Number 87. Man, that is a super low number. Man, that's crazy low. Uh, would have been cool if it was 84. That would have been kind of cool. Uh, not that it really matters again, but that's that's pretty nice getting a low number. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'll take that for show. All right. Now, we're going to move on. We're going to take a look at the C8 Corvette. Now, the C8 Corvette has been in Black Bandit before. This is our current one. Um, I'll show you the previous C8 from Black Bandit here in just a moment. Um, it's This is a different casting. It is not the same casting as the previous one, so... 
Um, it definitely qualifies to be essentially a new quote-unquote casting for the Black Bandit series. Uh, this is the uh, Stingray with the uh, open top. The, uh, not the removable top, but the complete no top. Like just, uh, it doesn't come with an extra piece. It doesn't come with the top. It doesn't come with anything like that. Um, it is in solid black. There is no striping or anything on it. it does have your BB on the plate area in the back, of course, for Black Bandit. Uh, it does have a blacked out interior as well. Some of these castings do have color accents in the interior. Sometimes this one is just straight black. Uh, this guy does not have any opening or moving features. Take a look at the bottom. There's a super easy number to see. That is 3924. Um, it's very interesting. It's like a sticker, but it's like uh, it's like adhered to the base. Uh, we saw this a little bit on some other green lights than trucks I did previously. Uh, this may be the new way that they're going to put numbers on there. It's very blatant. Uh, I think that's perfectly fine. Again, there's just the top deets. Again, nothing opens, nothing does anything. Now, the reason that I state that is because this one with the two gray stripes, that is your previous black bandit. It is blacked out, of course, but just had the two gray stripes on it. They do have uh, different wheels between the two, I believe. Um, they look relatively the same. This guy has the five spokes. This guy has kind of the, the more spider web looking wheels. Uh, but they are both blacked out, as you can see. But, of course, the previous one was a uh, removable top. So that little piece just comes right off. And you'll see they are different castings between the two of them. Uh, they're both great versions. It's both, you know, it's nice to see more C8s. Um, I think green lights casting is pretty good, besides the prints on the headlights. Uh, it's the only thing I have a qualm about. Other than that, I think all their versions look pretty good course we got a battle with uh, quality issues but fortunately for us this black bandit one is very very nice so we don't have to worry about that guy you gotta be super careful with these uh roof pieces they're um unbelievably fragile uh easy to lose it does sit in there but um it comes with a, a rubber band if you get it originally of course i got rid of my rubber band because i don't keep it on the cars because it's just going to damage them all right, we're going to do a little bit of uh, then and now, I guess this you can say. It's maybe not then and now. It's sort of like now and not so now. Uh, so we're going to look at a <clears throat> pair of Charger Pursuits. Uh, these Chargers both have no push bars, no light bars, um, you know, just standard vehicles. More of a support role, I guess you could say, at least the way I would look at it. Uh, this is for Aberoska County, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, these look pretty good. They look pretty good. Uh, these two castings do have opening hoods. So hopefully we can get those open. I'll show you guys there. Um, both of these castings, the mirrors are integrated into the side with glass on the cars. Um, on very early productions of this particular 2011 version, uh, not this deco, but this casting when it was new, um, there was a lot of problems with the uh, side windows breaking because the uh, side mirror would be impacted in the blister. So the whole side mirror with the two pieces of glass, that's one piece of plastic. So if you uh, hit that mirror on one side, you're likely to shatter the plastic on that side since it is a separate piece. Uh, but this guy looks pretty good. Does have your standard, you know, kind of utility wheels on there. Uh, full uh, lensed taillight bar. Uh, does have Wyoming plates, I believe that is. So there is your Wyoming plate. Of course, this is based on a specific vehicle. So that's why you see a plate number on there. So 246.19. Uh, let's remember that. Let's see if we get that on the other model. Uh, real quick on the base. Uh, 389 is a relatively low number. Uh, you can see that the printing for the uh, deets there in black is pretty rubbed off. Um, I don't know if maybe it just didn't hear very well or not. But, you know, fresh out the blister. So, but that's okay. Uh, this one has a much easier to open hood than the next one. Uh, this one does open up relatively well. Does have a little bit of a lip on there. Um, my Hemi is printed backwards. Look at that. It's printed towards the passenger side. Um, let's see what the passenger side shows. The passenger side is printed correctly, uh, but the driver's side is printed wrong. 
Uh, interesting. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's a green light thing for you. So, all right. So we'll take a look at the play again real quick. I'm just curious. I'm thinking it's going to be the same play. 246.19. So let's jump forward four years into the next gen. We'll just go to the plate right away. Sweet. It is a different plate. So that's a very, very nice detail. Very nice detail. Okay, I'll take that. Very nice. So this is the 2015 Charger. This is the next gen four-door. Uh, this is sort of kind of, this is essentially the third gen uh, four-door. Um, kind of is how you can look at it. This one looks pretty good. Does have the same design wheel, although it is a little bit bigger. So it looks much better on the casting. Um, the front end looks a little bit better as well. Uh, just, you know, not as not as busy as the other one. Although I, I did think they did a really good job with the prints on the headlights. Um, that print looks pretty good with the orange. May not look that great up close, but I, I assure you it looks very, very good. Looks very, very good. Uh, exact same tempo other than that. It's the same striping, same shield, same everything like that. Solid white, no push guard, no light bar. Uh, but that's perfectly fine. Although this casting does look a lot better with a push guard on it. Now this uh, hood is integrated. You see there's no way to grab the edge of it. So um, we'll see if I can get this open real quick. Not too shabby. It does have the exact same Hemi underneath the hood as the previous one. This one opens much, much further. And this one is printed correctly. So very, very nice. It does have a uh, Dodge in the grill as well. Looks pretty good. Actually, it's very hard to see. The print doesn't show up all that well when it's that small. But there you go with the hood open. Get a good quick glimpse of that one real quick. Just because. Just because. All right, we're going to go on to our last, uh, you know, Mopar-related item. This is the 82 Grand Fury. Another police car, again, from Bonnie and Clyde. Um, we'll take a look at that shield as well. This is State Patrol, again. This is Highway Patrol, State Patrol. They're all the same. Uh, same lensed headlights, taillights. This one is in just solid white with the shield on the side. Again, same fantastic light bar. Uh, this guy has the nice push guard. I think this casting looks great with the push guard on it. Definitely cool stuff. Definitely cool stuff. We like that for sure. Um, another good model. This one looks pretty good with the black on the wheels as well. Um, definitely happy to at least get one of the three that looks pretty good. So definitely like this casting. I, I mean, you guys know I love this casting. It's such a good casting. Uh, take a look at the base deets. We'll get this around the correct way. Uh, take a look at the number. Looks like 873 is the number. Plymouth Grand Fury. Again, matched up for a trailer hitch, although we've never seen that. And then we'll take a look at the um, shield there. That is Arizona Highway Patrol. So that one looks very, very good. Again, super close up, guys. It looks a lot better than this when it's super close up. I assure you it's much, much better. All right. We're going to go on to the very last model, and this one is definitely for the Chevy guys, for the California lowrider community, for Impala lovers, okay? Because we're going to take a look at this 64 Impala lowrider, and yes, it is an actual lowrider. It is not just the Impala. Uh, this one, Black Bandit style, of course, all blacked out with just some silver trim. does have those nice wire wheels in there with some silver trim as well in black. That looks very nice. It is a plastic roof. So this model is intended uh, that it will be used in the future for a convertible as well. Uh, so they can just swap out the top and put a windshield in there versus the whole top. So it's, a, it's a green light thing. It's a premium thing. A lot of premium brands did do that. Uh, this one looks fantastic. Again, looks very, very good. Um, this is definitely a casting we're going to be collecting here at Level M for sure. So this is the third one in the mix. We got two from the first set of California Lowriders. We got this one, and then I think there's one or two in Series 2. Uh, Greenlight did just pop up some production pictures of those. Look pretty fancy. Uh, this guy does have an opening feature. So it does have an opening hood. Got your big block down in there. It is orange with a silver air cleaner off the side of it. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's uh, super contrast to the rest of the casting, especially when we're talking about Black Bandit. Uh, everything's just blacked out, but I guess under the hood, 
Uh, things got to be just a little different. Just a little different. It does have all the black surround, though, which is pretty typical of what you'd see underneath the hood. And of course, as you guys saw, the hood opens very, very good. Close that guy down. Obviously, he does have no suspension, so that goes without saying. Uh, Taking a look at the base, uh, stupid eye number, 7174. Again, them using that kind of stick-on slash paint slash I don't know what that is exactly, uh, but it is extremely adhered for sure. It is meant to be permanent. And there is your base deets. There is those wheels again, very low rider, looking very, very good. With some good deets, definitely like to showcase this. It's a very, very nice model. Pretty fancy, pretty fancy. Um, we're going to put that guy on for the rollout because I think that guy is fantastic. Um, obviously, definitely need to put on a diplomat because, um, you know, no biased, right? No biased. Um, but uh, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Instead of throwing some Charger Love on there, we are going to throw on that big old caddy with her big old booty, which is going to take us out. Uh, appreciate you guys sticking around for that. Appreciate you guys checking the video out. Let me know what you guys think about these particular models. I'm pretty excited about them. Um, you know, it's a stark contrast to the, the truck unboxing I did the other day that uh, I had just tons of quality issues with, as you guys know. Uh, green light is very up and down. Now, all this stuff was basically produced at the same time. Most of it's good. This video is pretty damn good. Uh, but the other one was just uh, it's rough. It's rough. So, again, appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. We at Level M, we're going to say peace.